Okay, so my oven's on at 350. Uh, let me ask you guys, do you guys like lemon bars? I do. My family does. So I got lemon bars here. We're going to do two cups of flour. You can use pancake mix. You can use whatever you'd like, as long as it's kind of close to the flour. Uh, you get two cups of that. You get a half a cup of brown sugar or white sugar, and you're going to mix it all up. You're going to make a dough. I'm going to melt down this butter. Two sticks of butter. One cup of butter. And then this is white sugar and brown sugar mixed. You want to do like about a cup and a half. Uh, I did a cup of white sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use that much. You can use a little bit less. It depends on how tart you want the lemons. But the lemons here, basically lemon, this lemon, it's, uh, it's going to be a little tart. So I'm, I'm using a ton of lemons. It's going to be about a cup and a half, if not a little bit more lemons. So a cup and a half of lemon juice. Now, lemon juice is going to be mixed in a bowl, this bowl, the white bowl I have, with the sugar. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to put six eggs, six eggs in there, and whip it up and put it on top of my homemade dough. The homemade dough cooks first. I'm going to do that for 20 minutes. It's going to be at two cups of flour, uh, half a cup of sugar. You can use white, brown sugar, and then two sticks of butter. Mix it up, make it doughy. Mash it up, I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to bake it for 20 minutes. And then after that 20 minutes, you don't have to let it sit. You pour that juice right on there, and that 20 more minutes, lemon bars will be just about ready, and you let it kind of cool for a little bit, and you can put a little white confection sugar on top. Bear with me. Okay, I'm here, and I'm whipping up my dough. My dough is right in this bowl right here. Now, I did a little a couple modifications. So we talked about two cups of flour. You want to get a dough that's like bread. Okay, so as you're, you're whipping this up just like this, you want to make it where it's, it's going to be like a like dough, like you're, like you're kneading dough. If it's all soft and gooey, that's a little bit too soft. So you don't want it where it's flaky, and you don't want it where it's overly gooey. You want it, the consistency to be really good. Now, the other modification is I had so many lemons, they're kind of on the dry side. So we didn't get like I wanted a cup and a half. No big deal. Uh, I have some slight modifications. Mods, you know, some slight mods. So here's my dough right here. I'm going to put it in my pan. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to kind of lay it out there, make it nice and neat. It's all mixed pretty good. My stuff's falling on the ground here. Boom. Now, there might be a couple little areas that you see that might not be mixed completely. Just, just knead it. Knead it like you knead it. Okay, so knead it down. Make it nice and nice and good on the pan. I'm going to show you where I flatten it out. Once it's all flattened out, it's ready to go in the oven. Once it goes in the oven, it's going to take 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you go ahead, and I'm going to show you how I mix that 3 fourths cup lemon juice instead of the cup and a half, which is fine. I'm going to do less sugar, so you don't want to continue with the same amount of sugar either. That would be all bad. So you want to reduce the sugar amount. So let's say if it's three-fourths cup, I would do like one cup of like sugar. Uh, white preferred. So I'll show you what I mean. But right now, this pan is just about ready to go in the oven. I'm going to flatten down a little bit more. Oops. Once it's flattened down, be ready to ready to bake. 20 minutes. And that time, the lemon juice and everything else is pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna mix that up right up for you. You get to see it. So here we go. So basically, this is the bottom layer of lemons. Here we go. Okay, so I mixed up. My lemon bar juice. So three-fourths cup lemon lemon juice. We had a deal with what we had. Uh, three-fourths cups is fine. I did one cup of white sugar and uh, the six eggs. So it's all mixed in here. And it can be like a little bit chunky. No big deal. You can even have lemon curd in there. Actually, that tastes really good. Uh, now, one thing I didn't go over really quick is in the dough, when you mix the dough, uh, if you want to have extra flavor, you put a little vanilla. You can put a teaspoon of vanilla in there to give it a little oomph. Now, off camera, actually, I put it in there, remixed it, and put it back in, and also a little cinnamon, so a touch of cinnamon. So it's almost like cinnamon toast. 
And then once it's dry, once it's cooked, boom, I'm gonna put this guy right on there and you're gonna see, voila, the finished product. We're back and I just pulled the dough out of the oven. See how it's golden? So now I'm gonna pour my lemon. Let me see. In the book, over here. Put my lemon right inside. It's not gonna crack anything, it's just gonna go right on there like this. See that? So the egg that's in there is gonna make it rise. So right now, yes, I know it does it looks like it's nothing. But wait, you're gonna see. When it cooks, it's gonna rise. So slowly but surely, I'm gonna be gentle here. I don't wanna burn myself either. Not good to have a firefighter burn himself. And I put it right in my oven. Same exact thing, nice and slow. Let it cook for 20 minutes. It's gonna settle, it's gonna cook, and it's or bake, and it's gonna be delicious. 20 minutes, let's check it out. I'll show you what it looks like. You can put confectioner sugar on top of it. I'm not gonna do that. We try to eliminate the amount of sugar we have, even though every family has too much. Anyway, just in a second. Okay, I have lemon bars right here in front of me. Oh man, coming out. You can see right here. They're looking, looking good. Now to test it, you get a little knife, you stick it inside. If it's really wet, that means it needs to go on further. A little longer, I mean. So let's test this out. Little knife. Looks like it's good. Do a little taste. Nice. So, there's lemon bars right here. Basically, what I'm going to do, let it cool down. I'm going to cut it up. Oh, fire safety. Turn off the oven. You don't have any type of fire. No night from not uh, following firefighter Caffredo's safety tips. So I'm gonna let this cool down, and then we'll be good to go. Um, you know, you could have it warm, but cool is definitely better. And then I serve it up to my family, and we're all good. So lone bars are basically done. So it takes about 20 minutes for the dough for the bottom, right? And then right afterwards, you pour the liquid on top of it immediately. Another 20 minutes, so 40 minutes, 45 minutes total, uh, until it's kind of like nice and kind of golden on top. You want to stick a little knife or fork in it just to see if it's ready. If it comes up where it's, it's pretty dry, that means it's good. If it's a little bit moist, it's okay. And uh, then afterwards, when it cools off, then you can sprinkle, when it cools off, uh, confection sugar. Cut it up in small cubes, serve it to your family, and it's a delicious, delicious dessert after dinner or a snack or a lunch treat. And uh, thanks for joining. These are lemon bars with Firefighter Caparata. So three-fourths lemon juice. You could buy it at the store. You could squeeze it. You want one cup of white sugar with mixing with the lemon juice. That's it for that. You put it on the side. Now, the first thing you make is you're going to get two sticks of butter. You're going to melt it. You're going to mix it with flour, two cups of flour. You can put two and a half cups. You, you kind of play with it a little bit. And then when you do that, you get a little vanilla extract. And you could do a teaspoon, tablespoon. I'll take do a teaspoon, do a little cinnamon, and then mix it around, make it where it's kind of nice and chunky, right? And then when that's ready, kind of put it on the bottom of the pan, let it cook for 20 minutes. When it's all ready to go, put the juice in there and let the juice, lemon juice, with the eggs, I did six eggs. So mix it all up, make sure it's all perfect. And then put it in there, let it cook for another 20 minutes, and then it's ready to go. So there you go. Thanks for joining me.